Hey guys, welcome back. Happy spring equinox and I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be taking a look at what messages want to come through concerning divine soulmate connections. Okay, whether that be twin flame, twin soul, or just if you feel like it's a divine soulmate connection that you are involved in. All right, we're going to take a look at the masculine's energy as well as any messages that just want to come through for the feminines. All right, so let's just get right into it. Thank you guys for everything, for your comments, your likes, your shares, subscriptions, the personal readings, all of it. All of your support just really, really means a lot to me. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the masculine? What do we need to know currently? <clears throat> All right, we have the world and we have community. Okay, so currently the masculines are really in the process of, I feel, taking a look at their lives from an outside perspective, just really seeing what it is that they have been doing in the past and up until now. And I feel like this really has to do with repeating cycles within their lives, within their own minds, um, when it comes to other people, when it comes to just how they conduct anything, all right, in their own lives. And this is all about wanting to close those out, not being able to just keep living in the same way that they have been. And this is because they are beginning to feel like they want to feel a sense of belongingness. And the way that they're viewing their lives, it's like coming to this realization that everything that they've been doing, the patterns and the cycles that they have been repeating, it doesn't feel like it is the life that belongs to them. All right, so that's what I'm getting with this, with this message here. It's kind of like realizing that also that these cycles, these patterns, have not allowed them to fully enjoy their life. They don't feel like they belong in their own life. All right, so let me just get a few more and then we'll get into, into the tarot. So I feel like this feels like a, like a time period of a lot of, um, I don't even want to really call it introspection, even though it is. It's more of stepping out and looking at everything that has happened in the past. I'm getting like a past sense a past type of an energy here, here. Um, just really evaluating, that's the word. It's more of like an evaluating from the outside, the past and what has been happening up until now. <clears throat> Let's see what else. All right, I also did just have conclusions um, flip over at the end. We have fear, we have soulmate, we have mute, and then of course the conclusions, which I am keeping because I do feel like it fits also with the world card. Okay, so a lot of what they are realizing has to do with the fears that they've been holding on to. What it is that they have been fearful of when it comes to this soulmate connection that they have, and why is it that they have kept this distance? Why have they been quiet? All right, it had the reason they have been quiet, or if they've been a little bit withdrawn lately, or you feel like they're not being fully expressive, is because of the a fear that they're holding on to when it comes to this connection. But it's that fear that has also been part of this round and round cycle, the patterns that they have been repeating, even if that involves other people, all right? Um, it's still related also to their soulmate connection, to you. And this is what is going to be concluded. I feel like this card, the way it flipped out <clears throat> at the end there, it didn't fall on the desk. It's indicating that this is kind of like what the overview is, is a conclusion of the, that cycle, all right? So it's not that it has concluded, it's that that's where it is heading towards, okay? So let's get, let's get more specific here and let's see. So I'm only doing uprights today. 
So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Okay. So there's a um, there's going to be several messages, all right, that are going to come through today. I feel for for each. Um, <clears throat> energy that I look into. What I'm getting here is that this is a specific message for some of you who, where there is a, a karmic element or a karmic relationship involved, a third party. All right, part of this fear has to do with um, a, <clears throat> a fear of loss so, um, when it comes to closing out a cycle with a possible third party or a karmic situation, all right? There's a fear of losing something if they were to move away from that. And it's going to be different for for each of them. I might actually clarify just to get a few indicators here. Um, <clears throat> but this fear is one of the fears of also the um, the soulmate connection that in order to have this soulmate connection that they are going to have to release something else and there's a fear of whatever loss comes with that all right now when I say loss it doesn't necessarily mean that they have a fear of losing let's say let's say if it's a if it's a um, relationship of losing that person okay it's not a fear of losing the karmic partner it's a fear of losing something that they have associated with the karmic partner okay so for example it could be children in some cases for others it could be social status for others it could be um, a loss of control because maybe they have a lot of control in this relationship whereas they feel like they're not going to have control <clears throat> um, in the divine soulmate connection all right because they feel like that's just something so intense it's so strong that they feel like they lose control okay so that's a message that came through for a lot of you as well regardless of whether there is a, a karmic partner or not. Let me see what else and then, and then we will um, clarify. For others of them, they feel like, because I, I'm specifically trying to look into the sphere that they have, um, they have a fear of losing, of losing their self and their own sense of security. All right, like if they were to move towards this soulmate connection, there's something that they feel or they fear that they're going to lose within themselves. And obviously this is not based in reality. It's just that soulmate connections are um, especially, you know, these really significant ones in our lives. They can be very intense. They can be very triggering. And so they will evoke fear. <clears throat> Alright, the Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of issues here when it comes to self-worth. Alright, so that's another thing here. Alright, that for, for a lot of these masculines, they have a fear of not being worthy enough. And it's kind of like where they are right now, whether they are single or whether they are with somebody else, it doesn't matter. They feel like they have this sense of, all right, you know, I have what I deserve. Like I am good enough for what I am doing right now. If I try to do or try to have something in my life that is above that, then I am not going to feel as worthy. I'm not going to feel as um, good about myself. And that is a threat to my ego. And that is a threat to my to my self-esteem and to who I feel like I am and to how worthy I feel. So another fear that's showing up now is a fear of feeling not good enough for the divine feminine. All right. And that's, so that's um, kind of like <laughs> um, a mixture of all of these cards, both the first row and the second row, okay? So the first row is not necessarily only for those who are involved with karmic situations, okay? Um, there's also a sense of guilt here, a lot of guilt for even for having repressed their emotions. And here's the thing, these emotions that have been repressed in the past, which is part of the cycles that have been 
repeating themselves, like these patterns, a part of that is repressing emotions, allowing the emotions to come up. Repressing the emotions again, and then the, the emotions coming up. And no, 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 I can't face this, it's too difficult, it's too scary. Repressing the emotions again, all right? That's part of the cycle. And here's what I was saying in the beginning, is that there's this sense of them really being able to look at the past and see that they have been repeating this over and over again, all right? Here's the Five of Cups and the Moon. The Moon has cycles. <laughs> And here's Mannix coming to check in on us to see if we are getting messages. We are Mannix. We are. All right. So there's a lot of regret when it comes to having repeated these patterns. There's a lot of regret when it comes to having suppressed their feelings because what I'm getting here is this overview that they're doing, this evaluation of these patterns is helping them to realize that that is what has held them back because no matter how much they try to repress these emotions, they're always going to come back and they keep coming back. And so this is a realization of the delay that has been caused when they keep doing that over and over again because they just end up feeling like, okay, back to square one, I'm feeling this again. All right, so this is the overview of that and wanting to <clears throat> really have more control over this and find that the self-worth within themselves. So let me just clarify a couple of these and then we will move on to the feminines and what is coming up, what this is moving towards. So let me clarify that five of pentacles. <clears throat> All right, we have the knight of cups, the king of wands, and the magician. Yeah, so this is what I was saying before that there's this fear of losing their sense of how capable am I? How much am I really worth here, all right, with the King of Wands? How much control will I really have over myself? How much control can I even have over approaching this and what the outcome will be if I were to approach the Divine Feminine with this offer? Can I really make that happen? Can it really be successful? So there's a lot of <clears throat> fear when it comes to, to approaching their feminine. I feel like they, they want to make things smoother with you. They want to move towards a calmer state of being, all right? If there has been a lot of conflict in your connection or in your relationship, they want things to smooth out. I feel like they are regretting how the past has been, all the cycles that have happened over and over and over again. Like it's just getting to the point of, all right, how much of this, this has to end. I can't keep living in the same way that I have been all this time. So a big part of this fear is, is again, losing control, feeling like they cannot, they cannot um, either manifest this in the way that they would want in a way that's going to be successful, in a way that's going to be calm, or feeling a sense of losing control within themselves. Let me see the Five of Cups. All right, the Nine of Pentacles again, and Death. They, yeah, they feel like they have not been good enough pretty much this nine of pentacles they feel like they have not had what it what they need in order to be able to to approach you so this is something that they are seeing um they feel like they're <laughs> they're again their sense of self-worth is pretty much the same message their sense of self-worth because it's not where it's not that high all right um, plain and simple. It's it's not that high. And this is part of their challenge. This is part of their mission. It is, is to actually find that within themselves. But whatever sense of self-worth they do have, 
that's what they feel might actually end if they were to approach you because they they see you as deserving of something more than what they think they can offer. This regret though, this thinking about this, of the past and of these cycles, that is what is helping them though to actually find that self-worth within themselves. <clears throat> Alright, so this is something though that is going to happen um, unrelated to the Divine Feminine. This is going to be a separate part of their journey. It's related, everything is always related, but it's going to be a little bit separate from the from the Divine Feminine. There's nothing the Divine Feminine can actually do to help the masculine find their own self-worth and to feel like they are deserving and that they are capable and that they do have control over their lives. This is something that they are going to work out on their own through this energy of feeling like this Five of Cups and that Five of Pentacles, feeling so low, feeling depressed, feeling like, what have I been doing? all this time. I've just been repeating the same freaking cycle over and over and over again, finding myself back to square one. And it's not really, that's just how it feels to them. It's never going back to square one. And I've said this before, even for the divine feminines. All right, because each time you go back to the so-called square one, you're seeing that square one from a different perspective. You're repeating the cycle with more knowledge and with more wisdom and with more experience than the first time. It might feel like it plays out the same way, but each time, no, actually, you have you carry more experience with you, and so your perspective of it and the lessons you learn from those cycles each time are going to be slightly different. You are still leveling up. Just it's kind of like you know repeating um, you know a grade in school. It might feel like you're starting over and you're doing it all over again, yeah, but every time you, you repeat the same grade, you are going to be more efficient at it, even if you end up repeating it again. So it's kind of like that. Um, yeah, I think that's enough for now. Let's move on to the feminines. Alright, we have the garden and the gate, and let me just get a couple more. Alright, we also have bound, we have victim, and we have forgiveness. Ooh, okay, alright. This is interesting because I feel like these are cards that would normally have showed up for the masculines. Um, <laughs> that's just how it's been, I feel, for, for a while. So the feminines, I feel... I actually feel like there's two separate um, groups that we might tap into today, but this specific one. All right. So regardless of whether you have felt like you had moved on, and I mean, maybe you still feel that way. I feel like there's an energy coming up. For some of you, it's going to be more intense. For others of you, it might just be a little bit and you might be able to... Um, handle it and overcome it a little bit more easily, all right? It's not better, neither one is better than the other, but this is just an energy that some of you will be affected more by, others of you less by, okay? So it might be just a, a small aspect of what you might have been feeling. So basically what this is, is about having this, I almost want to say fear, but I'm actually going to say hesitation. A hesitation or a doubt when it comes to doing something. Now that something could actually be walking away from this, accepting the fact that maybe that this might be over, even if it's not, all right? This is just something that you are meant to experience, all right? The ending of this... Um, possibility to have union in the 3D. That's something you are meant to experience regardless of whether that is the outcome or not. All right. Um, so it feels like there's this hesitation to actually open the door away from this connection. And that might make you feel like you are just trapped in this connection no matter what. And that you won't be able to find um, happiness outside of this. All right. 
and it again it could just be a minor little phase okay within a bigger picture of you actually detaching all right so again some of you are going to be more affected by by this others of you less but i do get that that feeling here um for others of you <laughs> It's an interesting message that's coming through. For others of you, I feel like because <clears throat> because you feel like this situation has just deteriorated, like the connection has deteriorated between you and the masculine, you feel like, but you still have this deep knowing that the masculine might actually come forward. It's like now you're feeling hesitant as to whether or not you would be able to actually open up emotionally to this person again okay so again this is only going to be for some of you there's just different messages here um, and that bothers you that bothers you because you, you maybe you feel like this is something that you had wanted you feel like this is something that was meant at some point and now feeling like there's just so many issues and so much damage that has been created that you don't know if you'll be able to open up that gate and open up, you know, the gate of your heart, basically, to this connection again. And even and that even makes you feel trapped. Now, we also have the forgiveness card. So basically, what I'm getting here is that a lot of this will actually become more easier the more you forgive. All right, um... In either, in either case, all right? Whether the first one that I described about um, hesitating to move away and to accept the possibility of this not um, coming together. Again, forgiveness is going to help you to move forward and to get yourself untrapped and to feel unbound from this. Like you can still have the world. You can still open up that gate and move out into the world and find your happiness regardless of what is going on here, regardless of what happens with the masculine, all right? Forgiveness is going to help you with that. Forgiveness is also going to help you if you feel like, if you're having, if you're feeling bound to the idea that, well, even if the masculine does come through, it's never going to work because of all the damage, okay? So it could be that a lot of you are actually in the process of forgiving or maybe you feel like you are um, more forgiving now than you have been. All right, so let's let's see what else wants to come through for the feminines. All right, the six of pentacles, <clears throat> the star, the three of wands, and the six of wands. All right, so we have two sixes, starting out with a six, ending with a six. All right, so this is a lot of balance here. You are balancing out. It might not feel like it. I feel like at the moment you might feel a little bit off balance because of this energy, because of these hesitations, um, possibly feeling like, you know, even if you felt like you had moved away from this connection and detached, there might be a little part of you feeling like, yeah, but I'm always stuck, stuck with this, you know, like it just keeps coming back. Um... And, you know, I mean, that's true. If this is a divine soulmate connection, this is something that will be with you and it will be, you know, working through this, you know, your whole life, whether you are together with this person or not. Okay, it will keep coming back up. It will, it does get easier, <clears throat> but it, it is something that will be in your life. And a part of this, a part of all of this is to actually be okay and accept that, hey, even if I detach, even if I let this go completely, and even if I never come into union with this person, regardless of whether I want to or don't want to, it's always going to be with me though. It's always going to be something that pops into my mind. It's always going to be something like, you know, there might be a little trigger or there, it's just, there's always going to be a sense of having a connection with this person and then being okay with that. Because a lot of times, you know, it's easy to think that, okay, well, if I detach, you know, that's it, end of story. It's just going to be something of the past and it's not going to affect me at all anymore as if it never happened. And especially with um, twin flame, twin soul connections, like that's just not the case. 
okay? It doesn't mean you're, you're going to be miserable at all. No, not at all. Um, and also, let's keep in mind that, you know, for the most part, I mean, you are meant to come into union and your souls will keep pushing your higher selves, yours as well as the masculines, will keep pushing you and guiding you to come into that alignment, all right? But what I'm trying to say is that regardless of whether that happens or not, you will be okay even if this connection is still a part of your life in some way, okay? It doesn't mean that you cannot find that happiness even though it's still there and there's, you know, always going to be a part of you where it's going to be in the back of your mind here. Almost, and I don't want to exactly say waiting, but it's, it's there, you know what I mean? It's there. <clears throat> and that's why we have the star here because this is something like, as I said, that is meant to come together. But you are able, this is part of your, I feel, challenge or part of the lesson that you are learning right now, okay? For those of you that this resonates with, you are finding that balance between being okay with letting it go but still accepting that it's going to be a part of your life and that's okay too. You can still be victorious. Okay, well, pretty strong message there for the feminines. All right, so let's see what is coming up. Oops. All right, so let's see what's coming up in the next week or so for the masculines. What are they moving towards? Are they overcoming these fears or what? All right, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so there is change. There's a shift that is coming up, all right? A lot of them have already gone through a shift, and I feel like actually what I've been talking about is, a, is an effect of the shift that has happened, like in the past couple of weeks or so, all right, which has caused them to take a look at their past and see the, the patterns that they've been repeating and how that just doesn't really lead them anywhere. Um, which can actually cause them to, to also be a little bit withdrawn. Um, because it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, it, all right? There's that fear as well. It's, it's scary to see that something you've been doing over and over again just doesn't bring any results and that there has to be a major change, all right? So that was part of the shift, having, allowing them to see things from afar, allowing them to see, this is why I was saying that with this card, if you can just see this image, this man here is looking at the world from a distance, like he's not even in his own life, like he's not really even experiencing his own life, or like it feels like it just doesn't belong to him, like he's outside of it, all right? that's So basically that's my point here when I was saying that this is the shift that has happened. They are now seeing their lives from the outside, not being so immersed in it to the point where, where they're blinded or just not able to see things. Um, from a more objective point of view. All right, so back to the near future. Um, <clears throat> what they're moving towards is really wanting what they want, wanting what they want even more. Because now they're seeing that what they've been doing has not helped them to get what they want. It has not helped them to feel fulfilled. It has not been their wish fulfillment. It has not led them to feeling complete, complete and, and satisfied. So here is them knowing that there has to be this change, a breaking of those cycles. They, there has to be a shift. The cycles need to be broken. The patterns need to be broken so that they can change direction here. And this, the Seven of Pentacles, this is them trying to come up with that plan or trying to put little things together in order to achieve that. All right, so with the Seven of Pentacles, I actually see them taking um, physical, tangible steps in order to make a shift here because at the forefront of their mind right now is what it is that they want. What it is, what is it that is going to make them happy? It's not what they've been doing. Okay, and I love that we have the Seven of Pentacles because yeah, it might not be the fastest of energies, but it is still, it's planting the seeds 
for that for that shift. All right, let's see if there's just anything else that wants to come through for the for the feminines. All right, the two of wands, the hierophant, and the sun. All right. Yeah, feminines, this is spirit just making this, this um, point very, very clear. You don't know what's going to happen with this connection. All right. Yeah, it is a connection that is very spiritual. It's very deep. It is meant to come together. But two of wands, you it can, you know, it can always go either way because of, of free will. And I might actually do a separate video to talk about that, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. You can still have this hope in the back of your mind, knowing that, yeah, it could actually, it could happen. And it's okay to have the hope that it can, that it will happen, even if you are detaching. All right. Um, Either way, here is that sun. You can have that victory. You can have that happiness. You can have that fulfillment. You will have that. You will have that no matter what, okay? As long as you are doing you, you know, you are working on, on yourself. You are allowing yourself to process all of these difficult energies and doing what, what you can. I feel like a lot of this really just has to do with releasing the control and just accepting that this is the situation. This person might always be in my life. We might come together. We might not come together. You know, it really depends on their free will. It really depends also on what I decide to do and what I want to do. But either way, I am not going to be deprived of living a happy life. Okay? It doesn't matter how old you are. You can have this happiness. Very strong message here for the, for the Divine Feminine. All right, so let's just get a couple of Oracle cards to close out this reading with any final messages for those of you that this resonated for. All right, we have Orphaned and we have New Life, and I do want to get just one more. And I will explain. And I love how th these cards landed here on the left side, um, which is the masculine side, because I really do feel like that has to do with the with the with the masculines. And this one is going to be for the feminines. So. Orphaned and new life. Yeah, the masculines are feeling orphaned. They feel like their life does not belong to them. They, it's almost feeling like you are disconnected from your parents when you were young. Um, like, this is just not my life. This is not where I belong. I don't feel like this is home. I don't, I, I feel abandoned. I feel lonely. I feel like I don't have what is meant for me. It's this feeling, they, they're going through this now. And you know, they might be sulking in this, all right, with having both the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. It does, it is a little bit of um, victimizing one's own self at the same time for things, for how they've lived their lives up until now. But this is what they need to go through in order to make that shift that I was talking about towards a new life, okay? And this can also be applied to the feminine as well. All right, as a message. Yeah, you might feel like ultimately in the end you have been rejected or abandoned by the masculine, but you can have this new life, which is what I was talking about before. All right, but I'm just feeling very strongly that this message <clears throat> was meant initially for the masculine, but also does apply to the feminine. And then here is what I was talking about throughout the whole reading for you. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Yes, just because you don't know, which is exactly what I was saying at the end here, it doesn't mean that this is how things are going to be or that this is how things have to be. All right, you are processing everything and you are growing from this and and moving forward, all right, through this journey and through this experience. And it's, you can have this happiness. I just can't stress that enough. All right, guys, those were the messages. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you all much love. Bye.